Hello everyone, this is Benji from Snyder Electric in Denmark and this is my video on how to correct or change various TGML graphics in one instance. In this video I'm going to cover the following subjects. The problem, limitations, the tool, simple replace and an advanced replace. So first of all, why would you want to change uh, multiple TGML graphics in one operation? Imagine that you have a large database with hundreds of graphics in it um, and for some reason you need to change uh, text such as a customer name or a unit used on all the graphics. Um, you could have uh, an object grouped within various groups uh, because of an SVG or another path import. Or you could have script errors uh, throughout all your graphics. In this case, it can be a hard operation to go through all the graphics and manually correct this. And you would want to do that as easy as possible. So here is a demonstration of some of the issues I was describing. Um, you see we have a customer name called customer X. We have a value shown uh, with the unit of degree Celsius. We have an object here group within various groups and we have a um, navigation menu which uses scripts. And now we're going to take a closer look at these objects. In the editor we can now look at the text called custom X. And we can see here that it's the content that we would want to use to correct on uh, the various graphics. On this value presentation we can see that it's uh, something called the unit that we would want to change. In our object, our path here, we can see that it's grouped within two different groups. And here is our navigation menu, which will give our script error. Um, I'm now into Vista here, and I navigate with my navigation menu, and I can see here that I get my script error. So we would want to correct all these issues on all our graphics. Using this method, we need to be aware of some limitations. Uh, we need to know where we can use it um, and what we need to be careful about. The TGML format, or TSE Graphics Markup Language, is basically a XML format in clear text. The only objects that cannot easily be manipulated through an external XML or text editor are images as they are stored in Base64 format in the TGML file. You would need a base64 encoder decoder in order to manipulate images. You can alter graphics if the graphic files are stored as TGML files on a local hard drive or USB memory stick. You can alter components and snippets in your graphics editor libraries. This means that you can make changes to basically any graphic or component with the exception of graphics in a smart structure database. There's currently no way to alter graphics in Smart Structure other than through Workstation or Graphics Editor. It goes without saying that you should always make a backup of your graphics before making any changes. When making changes outside a protected environment such as a Graphics Editor, you can easily make changes that will corrupt the graphic as there are no checks. If you alter graphics directly in the this file folder of a TSC Vista database, you must clear the graphics cache afterwards on any PC accessing the database. As the graphics are altered without TSC Vista knowing it, TSC Vista Workstation will continue to use the graphics cache until any change is made through the graphics editor if you don't empty the graphics cache. I'll show that in my example. So now I'll show uh, an example of a tool to use and the initial setup of that tool. Various tools exist that can search and replace strings in various files. I found that Text Workbench from SilverH is a powerful tool that offers all the possibilities I need to make changes in graphics and then some. I don't even use a fraction of what the tool is capable of. So here is how I set up this tool. First in properties, um, I always check that I have the possibility to modify read-only files and I make sure that I don't create any backup files. Then um, you can decide where you want to uh, search for files. 
either by navigating to uh, the folder you want or by pasting the path uh, directly in here. Also, you have the possibility to um, store a set of folder locations uh, that you use often, for instance, a, a library. You simply create a new name for the folder set, um, in this case, my database, and then you add folder paths uh, to this folder set. You can then, at a later stage, go back and select um, from the different folder sets and choose to use that. It's a nice, nice little feature. The next thing is that you need to define what type of file you want to use. You can either browse a specific file or what I choose to, to do is to write in the extension of uh, the files I want to search, in this case, GTML files. Um, you would normally want to tick the box include subfolders as that would search uh, from the folder you point out and all folders beneath that. And that concludes the initial setup of the tool. So now we'll look into how to apply this in practice. We'll replace some text and we'll correct a script. So first of all, we need to identify what we need to replace. We look at the customer name here, customer X. Go into the source code of the TGMO graphic, and then we can try and locate uh, the part, part containing the customer name. Here we can see we have a, a text node uh, with the text customer X in it. Be careful because if you just select customer X, you, you might replace other things in the graphics as well. Uh, we need to take as large a part of the graphic as possible in order to make sure we're just um, searching for the right thing. So we copy here and go into um, the workbench, paste the text. So we create the customer name and then we make a search first. Here we can see that it found one instance of the text we were searching for. And we can even see a small part of where it's located uh, in the file. So we now make a uh, replace. And now you can see here that it shows us in which part of the file it found this text. And conveniently, it shows us how it would look afterwards if we chose to replace uh, the text in the graphic. Um, so you can click replace or you can choose to replace accept all which would uh, be preferable in this case if you had many graphics it would verbal through all the instances and in all files now if we search again you can see that we don't find the text customer x we need to go back and uh, close our editor remember that we edited the file outside also, if we refresh uh, the graphic in Vista, we can see that it has not changed in Vista. And this is because the uh, Vista is still looking at the graphics cache. So it's the old customer name. So we need to go in and empty the graphics cache. And you do that through the menu tools options. You select graphics cache and empty graphics cache. You click yes and OK. So now we can go in and open the graphic again. And you can see here that the customer name has changed now. So now we're going to change the unit and we open up the editor once more, going to source and we'll look for the unit. And we find it here, unit degree Celsius. Once again, copy as much as possible, paste it into the tool. and then we uh, go ahead and search for it. And we don't find anything. And there's a very good reason for that. If we open the graphic in an external text editor, you can see here that there's a strange character in front of the degree. The reason for the difference between the external text editor and the graphics editor is that the TGML editor will alter um, the content or the, the view of the file, um, which the external text editor will not do. 
So my recommendation is that even though it's a simple text, you always um, try and search a copy the text from an external um, text editor to be sure you get the exact same correct format. So now I copy the text from the editor, go back into the tool, paste that. And now when we search, we can see that we find it uh, in the text. So we simply correct the text of the unit, go make a replace, and we can see here that it's found the text and we accept all. So now when we go into our external editor, we can see that the file actually changed. So once again, we close our editor. And in Vista, we empty our graphics cache. Now we go ahead and open our TGML graphic, and we can see that the unit has changed in our graphic. So now we'll look into little more complex uh, replace which is in the script in the navigation first we need to locate um, where it is we need to make the change i know it's in this script have a look at the script and i know that it's in this part of the script i need to change something and what i need to do is in this part of the script to insert the following text um, to correct my error. So I'll go out of the editor and go into my external uh, text editor. Find um, the text or the, for, to find the location of my script. And you can see here that this is my script. So once again, copy as large a part of the script or the text as possible in order to um, be sure only to find and match the appropriate text. So we copy the text and go back into the tool. And now we need to search and replace a bit differently. Click the find what button and paste the text you copied here. You can see now that line breaks are uh, written as rn or slash r slash, slash n. Paste the same text here and OK. Um, when we search, we find nothing. And the reason for that is that um, the line breaks are not noticed as rn or carriage return line feed in uh, the TGML file. So we need to copy this string or this text go into notepad and paste it here and then we need to replace all the character to a new line um, with only a new line so we remove the character turn and replace then we copy all the text again go back into the tool and paste that in the search line so now when we search, we can see that we find various instances of this script part. And now we need to edit our replace string or text. Um, so we click replace with, and here insert the same text that we did uh, as a demo in the graphics editor. So we click OK. And now we need to do the same with the replace string as we did with uh, the search string. Copy everything, go back into Notepad, and insert it here. And we go replace Rn with N. Copy the text again. Go back into the tool and insert the text here in the complete line. So now, um, when we do a search, we'll once again find all the strings, and we'll do a replace. And here you can see what it was before and what we're going to replace it with. You can click Replace one at a time, or Accept All. And once again, 
we need to uh, empty the graphics cache in Vista. And we open the graphic. And now we can see that if we use the navigation menu, we don't get the script error. So it worked. And now for the object that was grouped within various groups, um, we need a little more advanced replays using something called regular expressions. In the editor here, we can see that our path is grouped within two different groups, and we want to ungroup that. So back into our text editor, um, we're going to search for the group node, like this, and we find one of them here, um, which is the end group statement. You can search a bit more and see that this is where in the top we have our two groups containing our path. You could think that you could just search for these two statements, but as you can see in the editor, you can actually add custom attributes to a group, um, such as stroke, for instance, which will rip through two objects beneath um, the group. Save this and go back into the text editor. You can now see that um, the group node has a stroke attribute added to it. So we'd want to be able to make a generic search for all groups. So back into the tool, um, I now delete the search and replace text. And then I go and check this box called regular expressions. Um, there's a nice tool here called the Regular Expression Laboratory, which you can use to make your expression the first time. Um, but I already have my search string, um, so I just paste it in here. So what this will do is search all groups, and then I'll replace it um, with an empty string. So now when we search, see here that we find various groups within our graphic, um, and we only want to um, delete some of the groups which is the top four here. So now I click replace, and I click replace one by one. Replacing the groups, and now I see that I'll skip the rest here, because I don't want to replace all the groups in the graphic. So again, back into the external editor, you can see that the groups are gone now, and if I close the graphic, and edit it once more. You can now see that um, my path here is ungrouped. There's no groups um, containing the path. So this concludes my video. I hope you found it useful um, and can save you some hours.